Okay, to save time, I went ahead and added those together because we're uh, uh, we're looking at a a person, Scuttle Tuffle, uh, working for a car manufacturer. She collected data, efficiency, measured miles per gallon. She found the mean was 33.6, and today she re revisited her notes but realized she wrote down only eight pieces of data. She forgot one piece of data. Okay, so. Um, and there's nine, okay, oh, nine new cars, got it. Okay, so <clears throat> what you need to do is add all those together plus the unknown. So you're looking at uh, 271 plus X, which is the unknown um, piece of data that she, she had. There's nine total. There's the eight that she had and then the one that she didn't. The average is equal to 33.6. So if you take that number, 33.6, and multiply it by nine, multiply it by 9 you get 30 or 302.4 um, so you'd have the uh, well you'd have the 271 plus X 271 plus X equals 302.4 so you subtract the 240 to the 271 uh, and you'll have your answer boom 31.4 miles per gallon on that particular day gave us an average of this uh, in terms of these you guys uh, we can do this quickly, I think. You know, your two standard deviations below average. I'm not saying that there's really only one way of doing it, um, but you know that that's 95, and this is half of it. Half of 95. Oh, and by the way, area is the same thing as talking about the probability. So 95 divided by 2 is 47.5%. You look at that, hopefully that one's semi-automatic. Um, so that would be 68%. Uh, this one here, if you're talking 68%, well, this is, you break it down here, this is 34 and this is 34. Um, that right there we already did is 47.5. Well, 68 is the whole thing. 34 would be each half. 47.5 is the whole thing. and subtract 34 from that. You end up with a 13.5% left in just that little zone there. Well, hey, guess what? You just found that that's 13.5, and you already know that that's 68.5, or 68. 68.5 and that, I'm going to give you 81.5. Nicely done.